sei kommen bei für dich seid on me morning i met a well in mackintosh and heard for the dawn and I like to refer to the Northeast as the ballad capital of the world because it has an immense range of traditional music and song, uh, chief among them ballads and folk songs. When Gavin Gregg and James Duncan set out in 1904 to collect the last 30 or 40 remaining songs, 10 years later they found that they had 3,500 songs. Hid me or hang me, that shall never fear me. In the 19th century, Francis James Child, an American academic and ballad collector, put together a collection of 305 different ballad types, and a third of his best texts are from Aberdeenshire, from the northeast of Scotland. Me. And of course, when settlers went abroad in the 18th and 19th centuries, they took their songs with them. An elf and night stands on yon hell. And they sang them all down through the Appalachians. Yeah, man, beg a care to testine and lime, and it's blah and blah. Scottish ballads found a new home in the Appalachians, and with relatively isolated rural communities, they retained their sort of status as living traditions for many, many decades, well into the 1930s, 40s, 50s, when the folk revival started. And uh, singers like Pete Seeger, of course, from the amazing Seeger family in America, Bob Dylan, Joan Baez, people involved with the folk revival in the early days of the 50s and 60s really took these songs to heart. One of the most prominent examples that a lot of people will be familiar with is Bob Dylan's song Fenario, which is a version of Peggy, which is a version of the Bonnie Lass of Fivey. So a song like the Bonnie Lass of Fivey would have found its way through the British Isles and also over to Appalachia. And I believe Bob Dylan picked it up there as Pretty peggy o And somebody like Joan Baez, her grandfather was actually from Rothy Norman here in Aberdeenshire, so there were family connections to be followed. She wasn't aware of it at the time when she was learning these songs, but she soon discovered such connections. I myself ended up in the northeast of Scotland because I was following songs. I'm hoping many people will follow in my footsteps and, and follow these songs as many people before me have for several hundred years. Oh, Bonnie 